Hello and welcome to the AllFacts video training series. Today's video will cover logging into your Gmail and or Google Drive account. At your machine, select the Gmail button. Your machine is going out and connecting with Gmail. It might take a second depending on your network. Click in the username box and we're going to use the soft keyboard on our machine. The pull out keyboard will work just the same. And we'll put the first part of our Gmail uh, account in, our actual Gmail, and that's all we need. We're going to hit OK. No need for at Gmail. Click Next in the password box. We're going to type in our password. And we'll click OK. And we'll click Sign In. At this point, Google will uh, give us a display of what we can do with our Gmail connector. We're going to click Allow. Gmail opens. Here we'll be able to put our uh, sending address in the two box. We can carbon copy and blind carbon copy from here. If you notice there's a subject box. If we wanted to change our subject we could do that there. We could put uh, something in the body of our uh, uh, email and then the file name is the actual PDF that will get created. At this point you would load your document into the copier, press your start button, it would scan it and send it to the party that you had put in the two box. Basically it would look like the, the machine has scanned your document but it would come from your Gmail account. can be pretty helpful. Let's hit the home button and get out. So now we're going to go into the Google Drive account. Basically we'll log in again. We'll click Next. We'll enter our password. And we'll click Sign In. So it's at letting us know that it wants to access our other Google accounts. We'll tell it allow. It might take a second. And here we come to the Google Drive menu and we could print a document or scan a document. If we say print a document, it will go in and access our documents that are stored in Google Drive. In the upper right corner we can click switch mode if we scan a document. This would be scanning something at your machine at the Sharp Copier and it would be stored into your Google Drive and if you notice there's file name, um, all of the common stuff you're used to with scanning like color mode, resolution, the file format. Uh, if you wanted to set an original, remember with original if you select that there's your two-sided book or tablet. So this could be very helpful to store documents and share them from your cloud account. Now let's take a look at a machine that has user authentication enabled. Many companies and organizations use user authentication to control access to the copier. Let's take a look. At your machine, you would put in your five to eight digit code and click OK. At this point, we now have, uh, we're at the home screen of our machine and have access to any of the copy uh, functions or e scanning functions available. One kind of hidden benefit of user authentication is it will cache or retain your Gmail login, Gmail and Google Drive login information. Let's take a look. I'm going to click on Gmail. Again, it's going to go out and access Google. going to log in with our account. And click Next. We're going to enter our password. And we're going to go ahead and sign in. I'm going to scroll down, click Allow. and our Gmail connector window opens. 
So let's uh, click our home button. And if you notice, we're still logged in. So let's do the same thing in Drive. And again, we'll put in our login information. And we'll go ahead and, and enter our password. And we'll click Allow. So at this point, we've logged into our Gmail account and our Google Drive account. So let's do this. We're going to click the home button. We're going to click log out. And we're back to the login screen. Let's log in one more time. Hit OK. So we're back logged in at the home screen. Let's see what happens with Gmail. So the machine is accessing Google and look at it has retained our login information for Gmail so instead of having to log in we only had to put in our five digit number let's go back to the home screen let's check Google Drive to see if it retained that login information and it did so this should indicate how easy it would be to log into your Google Drive or Gmail account with user authentication on if your company or organization utilizes Gmail or Google Drive and the users frequently access their accounts, enabling user authentication could be very beneficial in shortening the login time for your users. Something to consider. That completes our video and thanks for watching. If you need additional information or support, please visit our website at www.allfacts.com. Dot com. You can also contact us at our main number at 504-443-0188. On behalf of the entire AllFacts team, we appreciate and value your business. Thanks and have a great day.